Good morning. How are you today? My name is Mike Callahan with Rath Associates. Today, what we are going to do is we're going to actually take this takeoff panel and we're going to take this panel off and replace it with a Salus panel. All right, we're going to show you the wiring, the setup, low voltage, high voltage. First thing what you want to do whenever you're working with electrical equipment is kill the power. It's always good to check that power either with a stick or with a meter to make sure that the power is off. Once the power is off, you can get go forward to doing the change out. And this particular panel is a three zone panel, has three zones, three thermostats, three circulators. You mark the thermostats so that you know once you take these off where they will correspond to when you put them back on. Then what you want to do is mark the high voltage, which would be the outgoing to the pumps and the incoming power to power the actual relay itself. As I said, the first thing we're going to do is remove power. We'll start out with the high voltage. We will go to each terminal, remove it, and remove the wires. First input power, there's no power to the unit, that's out. Next, we will move through to the other high voltage on the unit. Most of the terminals will be marked. Traditionally, you would normally put black and white, black being the power terminal. Traditionally, white would be the neutral. We remove these. So we start to pull the wires off one at a time. Yeah, I need the big boy. Okay. We now have all the 115 volt wires done on the unit. They're removed from the space. Next will be the low voltage wires. Low voltage wires will include the thermostats and actually the end switches, which is used to send to the, app, the heating apparatus to turn the unit on and off. We will now remove these, R, W, and C, which is very common in these particular relays now, the power up stats. There's two, one more to go. Okay, we now have the wires out for the thermostats. Okay, we'll remove the wire that sends the signal to the boiler to fire. That is disconnected. We basically have this panel ready to be removed from the wall and replaced with a much better panel. All right, here we go. So we removed the old panel. We've got the new Salas panel in. It's a beautiful panel, as you can see. Terminals are all clearly marked. All right. We now have our wires, we have three thermostat wires and one wire to send the signal to the boiler. Power wires, thermostat wires. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start hooking up terminals, all right, to get this unit ready to operate. First terminal I'm going to hook up will be the XX terminal, which is the signal to the boiler to actually fire the equipment. The connection for the boiler connection is strictly a closed contact does not send any power out through this, it just closes a contact which then should pull in the boiler relay. If the boiler system is a boiler system that's mounted up with a primary secondary system, all right, where you have a primary pump which will move the water, the common water through the header, we do have a terminal for a primary pump. First one's on, now we go to stat number one. Stat number one, they're clearly marked R, W, and C on the unit. Okay, so basically we're going to match it up. R will be red, W will be neutral, which we're going to make white. And then the signal going back to the stat will be in the black wire. There is space in the box so that you can get your hands in there and whatnot, because that is an issue with some panels when they become a little too tight and you can't get in and do everything. Okay, thermostat number one is hooked up. We check, we have thermostat number two. Again, we're going to go RWC. Make this nice and neat. Little strands in there where you got to be. 
type it down, give a good tight turn on the unit, hold them down. Okay, that is thermostat number two is wired, and now we're on thermostat three. Plenty of space on top of the panel that you have room to move the wires. You don't have to bunch them all up into real tight groups. It's nice to have space. So basically, we have the wires for the three different zones are there. We have the signal going back to the boiler. Next thing to do is move on to the next setup, which will be actually powering up the unit. All right, we bring the 115 in, lack. Power, wipe, neutral. One of the nice parts about this panel, it actually has a ground terminal. All right, you do not have to just tie everything together with a wire nut. You can ground everything specifically so that you have a good positive ground. And grounds are very important in today's equipment. Power to the unit now. A good, good solid setup. Tighten it up. Bring it down. Make sure it's good and tight. This is power going into the unit. I don't want these wires loosening up. Now you have power to the unit. All right. Your next setup on this will be start hooking the pumps. On our particular unit, if you want a priority pump, for example, if you have domestic water, you have certain heating zones that need. What we actually do, pump number one will be your priority pump, if that's what you want. All right, so we're going to hook up pump priority one. Line voltage again will be black. Get it in good solid connection. No frays. Okay, and now the ground, we'll go to the ground terminal, right, which is a beautiful thing to have. It's nice to have a ground terminal in there, so you get a good ground. As I mentioned, grounds are very important with the newer electronic equipment. Okay, that's the ground for the number one. All right, now we're going to have to pump number two. Neutral, hot, and then again, the ground has its own ground turret. Okay, two of the pumps are done. Took up this ground. You actually have a ground for each one of the three pumps. Okay, so two pumps are hooked up. All right, we're down to our last pump. Yeah, we mark our panel up. Okay, power, pump one, pump two. This is the actual primary pump we talked about, which would be used in a primary secondary system. All right, that pump would always move to move the water through the main header when any one of these zones call. And this is actually pump three. into this ground terminal.
Okay. Round terminal in. All right, we've now hooked all three pumps up. We've hooked the ground terminals for everything up. Okay, primary secondary pump. Again, we have it. We're going to show it to you. Not necessarily what you have, but we do have it available on ours. What we've done now, we've now connected it. We're hooked up with three zone pumps, power to the units, three thermostats, which are actually provide power, our RW and C, terminal connection to the boiler itself. We put on this just in case. Okay, this is just for show. This won't be on all systems. A primary pump, we have a primary pump terminal here to run that primary pump. Anytime any zone here calls, this primary pump will run also. You also have other benefits if you want to purge on. For example, after the, the, the heating unit stops, you want to remove some of that heat from the unit. We have a purge that we can put on. We'll actually continue to run the pump for X amount of seconds to get it done. We have an exercise on this one. So that during off seasons, this is a water lubricated pump. So it'll run those pumps for five or 10 seconds to keep those seals lubricated during the off seasons. We have a priority. We can use priority if you need it for domestic water where you need those BTUs for that zone, and you don't want those BTUs being robbed by other zones, that's available. We call it right now, we call it a master and a slave. Basically, this could be a master control, which would run a number of other additional zone panels. Your advantage to this, not only does it equal replacement, but the value on this is unbelievable. You're getting a lot more bang for your buck with this type of panel. All right, that's it. That's it right there, the Salas panel. Goes right on, boom, you slip the cover right on. It's a beautiful little setup. All right, again, this comes in a one, four, and a six setup. All right, this also comes, not just wired, but you can get wireless, which we've done a couple of wireless situations. They were tremendous. People didn't pull wires. It saved them a ton of time and money to do it. So I'd like you to consider Salus on your next job. You'll find it an outstanding product, and when you see the rest of that product line, I think you'll become part of the Salas family. So I want to thank you for giving us some time, and I hope you get a chance to use this good equipment. Thank you.